Welcome back. So before we really dive into writing some real tests, let's just fix the final failure right here. What I want to do is I want to figure out why the product list component doesn't work and it seems it's similar to the other ones. We have some Anglify store, so we might have some services that we need to kind of provide as stops instead of using the real services in our component setup. So let's just try and have a look right here and if we open up the list component TS file, let's have a look if the dependency injects something in there or I do and it seems I do. I dependency inject the product service and the file service and right now they are of course not available so either I need to start providing them inside as, uh, as providers in here directly or I need to kind of go in and do what we did last lesson and kind of add the same information like we have right here where we add the providers and I'm going to do exactly that. So let's just start with the product service. I'll just copy this from this spec file and just paste it into the other spec file. Very simple. There we go. Now I need the service stop. So again I'll just copy that guy from here to here. Now you might think this is duplicate code right now but it's not going to be because the stops are going to be different in the two different areas. Right here I might need some other parts of the service like here I need to read all but up here I'm actually only going to need to write a new product or add a new product right so it's not going to be duplicate code we're just going to use the exact same name right here to make it simple. So now we have that available and if we save this you'll notice that that didn't solve the entire problem because we still need we, we're getting the same error kind of because we need fire storage and fire storage is from another area which is file service. So let's just open the file service. You'll notice that's fire storage right there. So we have the same problem. What do we do? Well, let's go back. Now we need to just create another stop right here inside the component list spec file. We'll create a new stop and that'll be instead of product service stop, it'll be file service stop. And now it should make sense just to create another provider right here. You just do a comma and add another provider for the file service. File service. It's capitalized file. There we go. And we'll use the file service stop for that guy. File service stop. And there we go. Now we have created two new providers and that should be enough. Now we should actually be completely clean and we should be up and running. But now it starts actually showing one of the problems we will be facing. It says get products does not have a function on the product service. Now the problem right here is actually if we go back to our code, you'll notice that this component will run a function called ng init. Let's have a look at the component. Now notice right here automatically this function is called in the test the ng init function and you'll notice it expects that the product service contains a method called get products. Okay so let's go back to our product service stop and notice it's not there. There's no function yet because this is just the basic stuff, I've not added any function here at all yet. So that's why we fail now because we try to call uninit and it won't find that product method right here. Let's just fix that and we'll dive more into this later because it's very easy to fix. All you'll have to do is just make a function called get products. Now this function is going to return, if we go again, we can make it easy, we can just go to the service right here. We can pretty much just copy this function right here without any information in there. So I'll go to the stop right here, I'll just paste it in and now I'll go in and put in a couple of curly brackets. There we go. Now this guy needs to return an observable, so I'll just do return and then here's an observable we haven't used yet. It's just called off and then we can pretty much just decide what we want to return right here. And I'm just going to for now return an empty array just to make the test work again. So what we're doing is just we're calling get products right here and then all we're returning is just um, an empty array right here. The test passes, everything runs, we're happy. So let's just again dive into what we actually did right here just one final time. Again, if I remove this, let's just comment it out. There we go. You'll notice that because when we are creating the component right here, when we want to create the component, automatically this lifecycle hook called ng on init is called. And that lifecycle hook expects there's a function on the product service called get products. But right now that's not available because we're using the stop down here, the one that we build ourselves, and that doesn't have a get products, so the unit test fails. Now all we have to do, it's very simple, all I have to do is just go to the product service and just copy this single method right here that's expected now inside the stop and I just paste that into this guy right here and right now I just return 
an empty observable or an observable that just has data of an empty array right now. We'll dive more into this, so don't worry if it doesn't make sense yet. But it should make sense that we're returning an observable with an empty array, and now because the method is actually available, the test will pass, right? There we go. Sweet, so now we have a full running application with seven tests. They don't work yet, they're not perfect, all of them. So we'll go in and make them better. We'll go in and create some a, a lot better tests than what we have right here. But all the components that I wanna start testing can now be created. That test already runs. Now we just need to figure out how to make some tests that actually makes sense. And that's where it all begins, because now we can start making some real tests that gives us some real value. And that's what we're going to start diving into the upcoming lessons. There's one thing I want to cover in the next lesson before we start testing, and that is we need an interface. We need to explain how a product service should look, so we are absolutely sure that we'll have the same functions available in the product stop like we do in the actual service. So that'll be for the next lesson where we'll try and make our first interface. See you next time. Have fun.